worth much, noise makers. I found. It's real easy to just make a noise if you need to. spiders, but I don't think there's anything too cool up there. So instead, let's proceed to the finale of Crazy Town. Well, it's just kind of a little crawl space where the, where the metaphorical mice go. Still in craziness, just different kind. Different kind. There's the guy we KO'd. Um, yeah, we're on the first floor. Kind of in the garden y sort of area. a few guards around here. Ah, yes. This guy. Where does your route go? Do I have any options? Yeah, I'm just... I'm standing in a darkened... in the one little patch of darkened door frame that's safe. Well, if we have to do this, then we have to do this. Oh, excellent. That worked out really well. Pickpocketed them, blackjacked them. It's a tree stump place. Where you can, like, sit and have your drum circle or something. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's like one more guy in this area. It's a giant tree. Oh. I I bumped into a mushroom and it the light source went out. How odd. This kind of geo right here, you can see like all the weird poly seams and stuff. You can sort of get a window into like how it was to create organic areas with uh, this dark engine constructive solid geometry. I.e. hard. Just, uh, just weird trees. Really? There's nothing here? Yep, we're in the garden. Just checking. So 
some of the same kind of ambience was used in uh, System Shock 2 in like the the gardeny grove type areas, um, and it unnerves me to this day. Yeah, so that must be up on the, like, possibly the third floor. loot. Yeah, a lot of the loot's on the third story, too, so I need to acquaint myself more with that. Like at this creek that runs through this whole area here. It's uh, quiet, which is good. Yeah, this is also a really cool feeling of being able to get kind of between the spaces by taking water, which itself feels kind of, you know, it's kind of hazardous and strange. Anybody coming, so it's possible that I've actually dealt with the guards effectively. Ah, oh, right, yes. Been here. interesting things that you do as you move through a thief level is that you make a note of, uh, you know, just dark spots, you know, because, like, this is, that's too bright, whereas this is safe, so you just get a feel for the exact safe spots you can stand. I hear a guy coming. quickly melts into whistling. I tend to drop unconscious guys in places where the light gem is also completely dark out of a possibly naive understanding of how the AI vision works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
treasure. There's a little utility closet. Good, good. I think I've actually taken care of the guy that would normally harass us here, so... It's a good feeling to be able to, uh... <laughs> these things. suspicion that this door actually goes into the room with those four chalices um, that we were at a while ago, just because of the weird way that it feels like the level doubles around, but um, I forget if that's actually the case. stuff here. So this is kind of a weird thing. Sort of a moon pool type effect here. In which one can just climb up through the water. This appears to be a completely self-contained little room with uh, a little treasure in it. Pretty sure no one's around, so I don't have to worry about making noise. <laughs> Nothing up here. Yeah, just a little room, just a weird room for that chalice to be in. I approve. Am I going to be hurt by doing this? No. Jolly good. So this is actually quite unusual and really different from my first experience like uh, a week ago playing through this playing through this mission to like refamiliarize myself with it. Um, because I actually feel really safe right now. I've managed to like KO a lot of the guards around here. Uh, whereas my first time through, the layout was still really unfamiliar to me. You know, it had been like many years since I had played it. Um, and it was just really, really scary. Um, but uh, now, not so much. So yeah, I think we've kind of explored the garden as thoroughly as we're... Uh, early as we're going to, so we should really find our way into the rest of the area, into the rest of this crazy place. Specifically the third floor with the... Oh yeah, that's the door into crazy town. How do I get back here? <laughs> did I get back up this way? Did that work? Not quite. If that's a wooden floor, though, and I can hit it, well, let's just see. Yes. <laughs> so now we're on the second floor. Guards are definitely known to uh, patrol here. I want to buy myself a little bit of safety, so I'm just going to do that to get compulsive about this. I've got so many water arrows to burn, and last time I was playing this I was 